What's going on guys? Michael from GPRisers.com. We are back again here in the mining bunker. And in today's video, we are going to be adding four more of these RX 6700 XTs to our GP Risers R8. Now, if you saw in the last video, uh, we took apart a X12 just like this one. Um, and we put uh, eight of those into this R8 right here. So we had a total of four left and then we got four more of these 6700 XTs in today. So we are going to go ahead and get this rig up and going. So I really like these 6700 XTs, um, you know, post merge for Ethereum. I think that these are going to be great. They're super efficient on Ravencoin and everything like that. I will be mining Ethereum uh, with them currently, but post merge, it will likely be Ravencoin, but we'll have to see, no one really knows. So I got these Gigabyte cards right here. Um, I'm not sure what the model is actually called. Uh, oh, I guess Eagle right there. Um, I got four of them. They were about $450 each. Uh, so I know the prices have been going down further and further, but I wanted to grab four of them so I could get this thing filled and ready to go. And I'm not too concerned. I know that Gigabyte is not great. The fans go bad, all of that. But this is going to be moving a lot of air with these 140 millimeter fans in the front. And also these cards are going to be relatively low wattage, maybe about 90 watts, 80 watts, depending on the algorithm and depending on your settings. So that is pretty much what we are going to be doing today. Here is a little uh, box that comes with every R8. And in here we have the handles for the R8. So we have these, let me take these out. I'll get these installed. They are the nice white and brushed black aluminum. And then we have a screw set. Uh, I believe these right here are for the uh, GPUs to screw those in. And then we have some larger ones here, which are for um, these handles. So you can kind of put these handles on each side, uh, or I guess it really doesn't matter which side you put it on. Um, however, I like to keep it uniform. I think what I am going to do on these um, is I, I'm putting them all on the top uh, part. The bottom is where the power supplies are, so that's more weight. Um, so I'm keeping them up here, and eventually when they do connect up here, I may just drill pilot holes here uh, that these can kind of clip into just to, you know, give it a better uh, you know, lock into the rack. But I'll have to see uh, when that time comes, I'll have to measure it out and everything like that. You can see here it is sagging a little bit. I need to redo this bottom part and I, I have to redo it anyways. You can see right here, uh, we have it cut out there. and This is going to be going up, so it's not going to work with that bar right there. So I am gonna give it more support there so it's more just sliding directly on. Right now you can kind of see a little bit of uh, bits and pieces from just moving things around on this and I don't wanna get any wood in these things or anything like that. So I will be doing that, but let me go ahead and get these uh, handles installed on the R8. And then I will go ahead and start taking out some of these cards and show you guys. So we got the handles on the sides of the R8. So I'm ready to load up these cards. Um, I did go ahead and grab the power cord for this. Um, this is going to be a, believe a C20 to a C19 plug. Uh, that's so that we're able to plug this into the PDU. And we are going to be using this cable right here. Let me go ahead and cut this real quick. So every R8 does come with this. Uh, you can pull out the little zip tie there and it has all the cords kind of wrapped up in here. And it has a little Velcro thing on the side that you can kind of just unwind there. Easier doing it with uh, two hands, but we have that. We can discard this. And in here we do have the power plug which connects all four of the 750 watt power supplies to the single C20 cable right here. So we could plug that together just like that, have that connected, and this goes directly into our 30 amp PDU. So I'm gonna set that off to the side here. So another big thing to remember is the battery for the motherboard. Um, I did personally forget to do this on a lot of our rigs here, but these do not ship with them. So make sure if you are going to purchase an R8 uh, to go ahead and get one of these batteries beforehand. And it plugs in right here you can see it kind of just go in there and it, again easier with uh two hands here but that is pushed in there it is seated very well so now we can go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff here and we can get these graphics cards taken out all right guys we have the four uh gigabyte eagles taken out of their boxes these again are 6700 xts um these are actually perfect if you look at it it's slightly less than a two slot card, which, uh, you know, the thinner the card in these server cases, the better. So I'm confident that these will work just fine, but man, you can really tell with these Gigabyte fans, it feels like that they're already gonna give out, but that's okay, there are three of them. And again, these 140 millimeter fans are gonna be moving a ton of air. So let me go ahead and get the uh, power cords taken out here, make some room, flop it over there. And let me go ahead and get these all seated. 
All right, guys, we have all of the Gigabyte Eagles put into the R8, and I did go ahead and pre-install Hive OS on this rig. And yes, that is the first time that I am installing Hive OS on a rig. My entire farm, all of these rigs, the 10 Giga Hash Plus is ran on minor stack currently. However, Hive OS has great compatibility with the software on the R8. So if you guys didn't know, the R8 is based on the Octaminer X8, and they have different models, the X8 Ultra Plus, uh, you know, uh, different power capacities and everything like that. This is technically the high spec, the 3000 watt model, but this is again, our white labeled Octaminer. So the software found on this is the same software that's found on the X8 Ultra. And again, HiveOS just has great compatibility with this software. So that is why I decided to put this uh, on this R8. I am going to test it out, run it for a little bit, but I likely am going to be installing it on these as well and anything um, you know, server case R8 related will be ran on HiveOS eventually. So I'll do a video comparing Minerstat and HiveOS. I'm not gonna talk too much about it in this video, but let me go ahead and get all these power cords installed on this, um, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we have all the power cords on the GPUs of the 6700 XTs. So what I am going to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and actually put the power supplies in. This one doesn't have it in currently. Um, and then I will go ahead, uh, put this up on to our rack over here. And you guys are probably wondering, why do you keep adding these and you're not moving this? And I am doing it soon. The reason why I haven't done it, honestly, I'm just dreading doing it. I gotta move all of these boxes off the top. I'm gonna move that rack over here and it's going to be a pain. I need to cut out the wall. I need to do all of that. There's also some rigs behind it in there. I need to move around. And I do need to, the next video is probably gonna be me taking out these 3060 Ti's. Um, I am putting those again into R8s. And also I realized the other day, uh, I don't think the PDU cords are going to be long enough from these three. So what I did do is I bought extension cords for these. Now you have to be really careful with extension cords when you're pulling around 5,000 watts. I did buy it from a website. Um, I'm not gonna put the link in the description just yet uh, for the extension cords for these. I want to test them out myself, make sure that um, you know everything is fine and dandy on them. And if all goes well, I will post a link and update you guys on, I'll make a video actually on the extension cords. Um, that way you don't have to move all of this stuff. Uh, but I will give me enough space to be able to move them over there. It's only about six feet. So let me go ahead and get this all closed up. I am going to go ahead and flop it right over there, get it all hooked up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. We have the R8 all set up here. You can see right here on the screen, it is the 6700 XT1. So everything on Hive is working. It actually took me about an hour. I have not used Hive OS in probably about three years. So it has been quite some time, um, but I'm glad it's up and running. It seems to be running rock solid. Um, I, again, I am going to be switching over these two R8s over to Hive OS and any future R8s that we deploy just because of the functionality with the software that comes on these mining rigs. But I will drop a picture right here on the screen for you guys for the settings that I'm using on the 6700 XTs in Hive OS. So if you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know that we have been kind of expanding a little bit recently. We did make a heat box that ended up not working out. It's not that it didn't work out. We just decided to go a different route. And I need to move all of that. I will probably do that tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that flickering light, but it's driving me nuts. But just another day in the life here. But guys, drop a comment down below with what you guys are currently mining with. I know a lot of people aren't expanding now, but some of these GPU prices are too hard to pass up. We are expanding with 6700 XTs and RTX 3070s, and we are going to continue doing that for a while now until we get kind of maxed out here. We are close to maxing out. I want to say we probably have about another 3,000 watts that we can mess around with, but we'll have to see once that wall is taken out over there and this thing is pushed up against it. But that's going to be everything for this video, guys. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day, and we'll see you guys next time.